Hello, Altan here. Welcome back to Let's Play Mac Warrior 2 Mercenaries. We're going to take on our first contract. Uh, this is the contract. It's a training campaign, um, which we will piggyback basically with Hansen's Rough Riders. Um, this really is a training. It is training duty. Um, this is the, whole, the story behind it. That there's a, a planet called Venaria, which has been uh, occupied by pirates for over a year. Um, it's, um, yeah, you'll see. Uh, basically, we have to um, kill people well, a bit, not that much. Uh, I did a bit of customizing too. I um, put another laser beam on my mech and I've um, purchased two extra jump jets. So, um, this, that works better, I suppose. So this is us taking off. Um, it's not very spectacular at all. I'll probably show you it at you at one point. Um, training missions are not that exciting. Patrol the area around your dropship. Go to these nav points. As I mentioned, I'm going to read out these situation sketches because you might want to, you know, read that. You can also pause the video and just skip ahead. Um, I will be um, putting tags in here. Uh, between when to show that and you know where to skip to right so this is what our journal says left outreach today bound for Funaria. I'm still not used to space travel and we were under a 2g burn for over an hour not very comfortable I hear things are pretty hot on Funaria. the Draconis combine has told Hansen's Rough Riders to move up their scheduled arrival by a full two hour two weeks I thought it was supposed to be an easy mission came out of jump at 12.34, our dropship was out by 1.30, and we were met by a couple of pirate aerospace fighters by 6. What a day. The pirates weren't really interested in fighting, they were much more interested in getting us to go away. I heard one of the mech warriors saying they tried to bribe Hansen's Rough Riders into breaking their contract with the Combine. The Rough Riders refused. We just pulled into orbit over Venaria. I've been told that my train is to be Sergeant Unther. I don't know anything about him, but several mech warriors rolled their eyes and laughed when I mentioned it, it to them. They chuckled for a minute about the Mukoma incident, but refused to give me any details. One wished me luck before he left. I hope this Sergeant Unther isn't a loser. No, he isn't. Okie dokie then. Let's just jump in. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Welcome to the front lines, kid. My name's Sergeant Unther, but you can call me Deadeye. I'll be your babysitter for the next couple of days, so don't get killed. I hate my I'm in the big mech in front of you. Shoot me even once. And I'll tear that beer can you call a mech into scrap. Today, you and I are going on a short patrol. I don't think we'll meet any hostiles, but stay alert. If we get into a fight, you just watch my back and let me kill everybody. I love having an audience. First, hit the N key on your console. See the nav point in the lower left-hand corner of your screen? That's the first point of our patrol. Hit one of the number keys on the top of your console. They control your speed. The higher the number, the faster you go. Use your joystick to head in the direction of Nav Alpha. Nav Alpha reached. You may have guessed. Notice We're skipping how your some Nav bits. computer cycles automatically to the next Nav point. Head for that point now. If you lose the Nav point, watch for the green arrow on your HUD. The green arrow is your best friend. It will always point you towards your selected Nav point. Nav Beta reached. Good. Now we have only two more nav points to do. Go to each in turn and keep your speed up. In real combat, speed is life. You go slow, you die. Nav Gamma reached. So, yeah, this is a simple patrol mission. Pretty much learns you, teaches you how to control your mech. Um, From the top left, you can see the radar, which is also displaying my um, turret's position. Uh, at the top, there's the compass, where you can also see the turret's position. This is pretty much external camera. You move me moving uh, stuff around here and looking up and down and all that. 
it's pretty well done actually even for a game this old uh, it looks cool um, top right that's the weapons M last are the medium lasers and SRM6 that's the short range missiles um, and they are on a different group so Nav Delta reach. which is why they're in white dropship wild ride this is dead eye me and fresh meat here have finished our sweep and are heading back home area is secure not a bad day kid get back to the dropship it's at the return nav point yeah oh, on the oh, far way left the red bar that's the jump jets and the altitude below that tells you how high you are um jump jets allow you to fly they're really good for um, pinch navigation you know if you really need to move backwards um mission successful there we go We'll cover the rest in a later video, um, or a later mission. Okay, so mission is successful. We hit all the uh, points. Uh, let's talk about the aftermath. I'm just going to note the time here. Um, let's see. Uh, it would be 6.05. Okay. Fierce fighting continues on Venaria as Draconis forces, including the mercenary unit Hanson Rough Riders, made pirate raiders in several pitched battles on that world's fertile northern continent. Draconis Command claims to have destroyed nearly a company of pirate mechs, while the Rough Riders encountered and destroyed only a lance at one of their dropship landing zones. While the total losses of the Draconis side remain hidden to Comstar, the pirates claim to have destroyed two full lances of Draconis mechs, including an assault lance that was thought too powerful for the pirates to ever face in open battle. The pirates claim that Hans and Rough Riders fought better than the DMS, Draconis Combined Mustard Soldiery, the pirates claim no kills against the Rough Riders. Is that so? Right, next mission. We'll just do this one, uh, too. Your target. Enemy airfield and its complement of Aerotech fighters. Yeah, no, nothing too spectacular here either. Um, let's see. So, that was about six. Well, anyway, so we need to kill a few fighters. Uh, it's not really that spectacular, but it'll be fun. I have heard a good deal about the fighting. Let me note the time. The Combine is letting us bear the brunt of the battle. And the, then their troops are sent in at the very end to make certain that we win. So far the Rough Riders have lost three mechs and the Reconus forces have hardly had their paint scratched. The Rough Riders seem to take this abuse with good humor. Apparently that's the way things are for mercenaries and the way they'll always be. Yeah, mercenaries don't exactly enjoy good standing <laughs> in this game. In this game. Anyway, I was dragged out of bed a little earlier this morning by Unther or Deadeye, as he prefers to be called. He's not a loser, but he might be a psycho. I think I remember reading about him in a newspaper when I was 16. Something about a war atrocity somewhere near Terra. Yeah, I wouldn't put that past him. Anyway, let's go. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Morning! How does it feel to be strapped into a walking nuke reactor at 6 a.m.? Bet you sorry you didn't study harder. <laughs> Get that throttle. You'll be killing people before breakfast today. Soldiers mostly. Maybe some civilians. This is a real combat mission, so don't go soft. Soft. Follow me to Nav Alpha. Not really. Heading my way that way already. Okay, so. Uh, as you probably guessed, lower right, left, I mean, that would be your target in the HUD heads-up display, target, multifunction display. The middle is Nav heat gauge. Reached. All right, hang on a minute. Our target, the airfield, is just ahead at Nav Beta. But first, let me show you how to work your targeting system. Hit the E key on your console in front of you. That targets the closest enemy. As you can see, that's an enemy fighter craft. Don't worry, he's still on the ground. Now, let's go take him out. Use your radar. Nav beta reached. Right, you're almost on top of him. Hit the space bar on your console to fire your weapons. Just put your target in front of and let him have it. Nice shooting. Scratch one fighter and scratch one. Bastard didn't even have time to eject. <laughs> now, take out the other fighters. Done. 
Turn your guns on the hangar and the power supplies. Destroy them quickly so we can get the hell out of here. Internal heat at 700 Kelvin. Group fire. Engaged. I hope they were insured. <laughs> Let's head back. Return to the dropship at the final nav. Okay, so as you can see, the heat in my mech was now going up. Energy weapons produce the most heat, and, well, missiles also produce a lot of heat. Um, the gauge to the left of that, the DHTH, that would be the heat production. And this would be, a, well, a better way of seeing your total um, health. Mission successful. Alright. Sweet. Alrighty then. Uh, let's just check the aftermath again. That would be it. Alright then. The battle for Venaria escalated today as Draconis and Rough Rider units dealt the pirates a serious blow. Militarist, military analysis believed that the pirates' vast arrow fighter superiority could turn the tide of the war, which was so which has so far favored the Draconis Combine. Earlier today, the Draconis forces struck with a multi-pronged attack against pirate and civilian airfields scattered across the northern continent. Draconis High Command claims that there were no DC casualties during the rage, which began in early morning and lasted until sundown. The Combine further claims 25 aerospace kills, 23 on the ground and 2 in the air. According to Shun Ling Hin, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't even know if this is an L or an I. Shu san leader of the Draconis forces on Venaria, the pirates never saw us coming. We could not have hoped for such an easy victory. Oh, no. I'm happy for you. And that will be the end for this video as well. Yeah, okay then. Well, thanks for watching. We'll finish the training mission uh, in the next video. And uh, we'll actually get started with some serious money-making missionary business. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.